I'm on my way home from a conference of life support water enthusiasts. Do such people exist? By the thousands. These are people whose lives have been improved by switching from drinking bottled water or tap water to optimized life support water. I'm one of them. Many of us get together at different times of the year to learn from each other and celebrate the probable extension of our lives. Extension of our lives? That's what some of the new research says. In fact, when it comes to anti-aging, drinking plenty of water ranks top on the list, as opposed to coffee, tea, milk, juice, etc. So us life support enthusiasts get together to learn and play in our newfound youth, or at least we're wrinkling a whole lot more slowly. I got to run into one of my old friends that I've referred to in previous posts as Dr. Harvard. I call him that because he both graduated from Harvard and then taught surgery there to medical students for many years. Dr. Harvard always has some interesting things to say. At this conference he reminded us of the discovery of aquaporins, so I decided to share here. You may never have heard that word, but you're alive because of them. We all know that water is absolutely vital for life and the function of every cell in your body. But there's a puzzle that was only solved 10 years ago. Cell membranes, those little bags that hold all the good stuff inside our cells, are made of fat called phospholipids. Under most circumstances, oil, a type of fat, and water don't mix. And there's no exception here. If that's the case, how does water get into and out of our cells rapidly enough to support life? Cell walls are a little leaky and water can diffuse across the membrane very slowly, but if that were the only mechanism, we would all be dead. I'm not into being dead. I'll assume that since you're reading this, you're not into being dead either. Water moves much faster across cell membranes than can be explained by simple leaky diffusion. It has to move rapidly for our biological machinery to function. The discovery of aquaporins in 1993 explained how that was possible. If you think that's not much of a big deal, think again. The discoverer, Peter Agre, was awarded the Nobel Prize for his discovery. Aquaporins are holes in the cell membrane created by proteins. There are different types of aquaporins, but they are necessary to move water in and out of your cells. Water molecules actually pass through these holes in single file. These aquaporins are so specialized that they can let water molecules through, but not charged electrolytes. Pretty good guards for the precious inside of our cells, huh? I've always been fascinated by how the body works, and I know you might be as well. Keeping our minds open to new discoveries is always the best policy. Decades ago, there was a special type of water discovered that we call life support water. One of its properties is that the water molecules seem to have less of an attraction to each other. Here's my best analogy for that. We are held onto the Earth because of gravity. If Earth's gravity were to suddenly become less, we could all jump much higher. We could break away from the Earth's pull just a little bit easier. Can you imagine how high they would have to make the nets in basketball? That would be seriously fun to watch. But I digress. Water molecules are attracted to each other by forces analogous to gravity, but on a much smaller scale. If that attraction could be lessened, that means one single water molecule could break away from the herd a little easier. Would that make it possible for this water to get inside your cell wall at an even faster rate than other water? Aquaporins require single file movement of water molecules into and out of our cells. Early evidence seems to show that life support water actually behaves that way. It gets into your cells at a much higher rate and more efficiently. Therefore, it can hydrate you better than other waters at the cellular level, which is where it really counts. On one of our water education webinars, we show this very feature. If curiosity is overwhelming you, join us and we'll show you why all water is not the same.